1949, Don May, who was the uh, manager of Bernstein's Restaurant on 2nd Street in Belmont Shore, brought a real tree down from Big Bear, fastened it to a platform, and lit it with a generator uh, for power. The tradition began in conjunction with the Naples Boat Parade that had started in 1946. The one tree concept expanded quickly, and four additional trees were added by Belmont Shore Business Association, which named it a Christmas array on Alameda's Day. The real tree is soon evolved into the familiar floating derricks, which resemble pyramids of oil derricks by day. And uh, today's trees grow glow with more than 325 lights apiece. They're all highly visible because of May's oil rig design. I think it's kind of fitting for Long Beach that we have an oil rig design for our Christmas trees. That's what brought all the money into Long Beach. In 1978, following the passage of Prop 13, it was learned that there was no more money to continue the display. Marlene Meadow, who's still alive, and Chuck Bollinger, and I'm not sure about Chuck, back, uh, took up the cause and launched the Save the Trees campaign with fundraising and help from the BSBA, Belmont Shore Business Association. And by 1979, all the trees were back. And it went from there. You know, it started out with about three or four, and all of a sudden, you know, every, every time you turn around, there's another tree somewhere. <laughs> they were ugly during the daytime. Oh, yeah. You see, it seemed like ever, as soon as we got them out, we tied them to our lines along the bay there. And the wind would blow real hard, blow them over. Would blow them over, <laughs> blow a few of them over, so that went all the lights on that tree, and so we had to you know, take them in and redo them. Don Hunter and Al Freeland were the two. Don Hunter had was part owner of Egyptian Pharmacy, which is now Rite Aid, and uh, they got the idea. A lot, of the, some of the business, and it was a very close. Belmont Shore was all family-run businesses at the time, and they were always thinking of ways to make Belmont Shore brighter and better and such. And so he came up with the idea of the trees. And Bunny and his friend Ralph Wood, also a lifeguard, um, I, the fellas, they bought the real trees, didn't they? And then you That's guys made the platforms and stuff? No, Don, Don and uh, Elle made the platforms, and we were, we towed them out, tied them off to the line out there. That went on for a couple of years, and then they worked out a deal with the city in order to get light, you know, electricity that they could run the trees to. And then that's kind of when Don May got in on the act, because he then was like president of the Belmont Shore Business Association, and he got involved, and it kind of, Don Hunter and Al Freeland, they, everybody kind of forgot about them, and it was kind of like Don May's deal. But, uh, and I don't think many people really know that it was really Don Hunter and Al Freeland, and Bunny Miller and Ralph. <laughs> That put up and a bunch the, of other lifeguards. Yeah, that put up the original trees. Trees for us give us a, a great staple of uh, entertainment here um, for our customers through the uh, Christmas season. Um, we have this great picture here of the, the trees right here on the bay. Um, really sets the mood for the Christmas season. Uh, well, I've, I've lived in Long Beach my, my whole life. Uh, I was born and raised here in Long Beach. Uh, I used to swim in this bay as a kid. Um, so I know, you know, right around November, I start seeing the City of Long Beach crew taking them out on the water and start setting them up. So it kind of gives me the feeling that the holiday season is uh, right around the corner. Mm -hmm. 